Hey guys, I'm super excited to announce to you all that Adobe and I are back with making kiddies hairstyle tutorials. Yeah! In case you don't know, in case you are new to this channel, which obviously a lot of you are, i had to cut adobe's hair at some point okay so that is the reason why i don't have like new hairstyle tutorials for kiddies on this channel i'm sorry about that but in case you want to see the reason why i had to cut her hair i'll be leaving the video to the link in the description box because if i go into that story again this video is definitely going to be too long so you might want to check it out i'll also leave it up here yeah so we are back and as you can see her hair is pretty much very short like it's very short but i'm gonna manage it i'm going to show you guys how i was able to make this beautiful hairstyle out of this short hair like <laughs> so with no further ado let us dive right in decided to use brazilian wool for this hairstyle and not um, braiding extension that is attachment because i felt like it would be easier to manage because of her hair and as well she's a kid brazilian wool is more suitable or more durable for kids okay with the help of my son my son is the one holding the other end of this brazilian wool while i'm trying to measure it out you can use your eyeball just like imagine in your head the length you would want the braid to be you know okay so um i think this is about 30 inches or 22 28 inches which at the end of the day it was still very much long and i had to cut it so just use your eyeball to do the mat and everything so after measuring out some quantity of the brazilian wool i went ahead to cut with a pair of scissors just once just in the middle or something okay and we are going to go ahead and start braiding before that i went ahead to moisturize her hair with some leave-in conditioner like you guys have no idea how thick and full adobe's hair is just look at that look at the texture of her hair <laughs> well thankfully i was able to find my way around this hair i mean it is better off braided than being left like that because usually i have so much difficulty with combing out her hair because it pains her and whenever i even successfully brush out her hair or comb out her hair before you know it in no time it gets all messed up and bushy so it is better off being in a protective style and that way it gets to grow more than just being left like that I'm using a total of six strands of Brazilian wool on each braid, which after crossing over, I will have a total of four four strands on the three sides, as you guys are seeing right now. Okay, so on this line that I'm currently working on, I parted it into three different parts, and I have three braids, or I will be having a total of three braids on that line. And on the next line, I will be parting into four different lines or into four different sections, which I ended up having four braids on that line. I'll be showing you guys in details now how I parted her hair and how I was able to grab her short hair to make a braid so this is the third line and for that i will start parting right from the front just to make sure that the line is straight okay next i'll pat out a square from this line then slick on with my shannon jam for easy grabbing i'll grab her hair with the two parts of the braiding extension on one of my hand and on the other hand with just one side of the braiding extension i'll pass it across in form of wrapping and when it comes back to the hand with the two parts of braiding extension i will you know kind of interchange sharing her short hair between the three of them or on some cases between two parts of the braiding extension then i start you know crossing over just like a form of braiding making sure that every strand of her hair is tucked inside the braiding extension so just watch how i am doing this because hair tutorial videos are more visually explained than whatever it is that i'm talking about right now so just watch and see for yourself <music> Up 
Upon finishing the deadline, baby girl started sleeping. But work has to go on. Well, at the point, I couldn't cope anymore, so I had to allow her to sleep. And when she woke up, we continued. <music> So after a few hours, she finally woke up and here we are to continue from where we stopped. Of course, we had to change location because it was getting late outside, though we did not begin the hair on time, but yeah. So this is the fifth line and this is how I am patting it. I am patting a straight line here rather than patting it round like I did with the other two. I must commend Adobe for her patience all through this hair. Initially, I was scared that when she wakes up, she will refuse me from continuing the hair. But here we are. She didn't even cry. She was calm all through it. She was patient. She was just busy with her tablet, watching whatever. And this made me realize that my baby girl is now grown because before cutting her hair, you know, whenever we take a break from making her hair, we always have difficulty. We have to bribe her. We have to do a lot for her to agree to sit down again to continue the hair. But here we are. I didn't even need to convince her. I just told her, okay, we are not done with your hair. We have to continue again. And she understood. And she just came on and sat down. <laughs> please you guys should leave some sweet words for adobe in the comment section i'll be reading it to her trust me i will definitely read them to her after i've read the lines at the back to an extent i moved to the sides so on this side i am patting out the hair to work on you know as usual i will slick on with my shine and jam i'll come out and with my six strands of braiding extension i'll grab her hair on one hand with two parts of braiding extension while i wrap the other part of braiding extension around the roots of her hair just once then part the hair like her natural hair into three and start tucking it in while i braid tucking it in is very important since her hair is short but if your child's hair is not as short as my baby's hair you don't need to be you know all that careful with tucking it in though you still need to tuck it in but not you know to this extent does that make any sense yeah for this part at the front i always added a strand of extension after like tucking in the hair i don't know if that makes sense i always add a strand of extension for this part at the front i didn't add a strand of extension for all of them i only added at the front since her hair at the front is way more thicker and you know just to just for everything to look equal from the root down to the tail or to the end if that makes sense yeah and for most of the braids i didn't braid out to the end just to save time like i left them i braided for a while and just stop so to continue with the next one and when i was done with braiding all her hair i braided out while adding beads to her hair just keep on watching you will see what i'm talking about much later
guys i am so so sorry about how blurry this whole thing is looking right now i didn't realize that my camera wasn't focused on the hair i was braiding at the time i was making this hair. i didn't realize the camera was not focused and this whole blurriness just occur it just blurred out everything i even had to cut out a lot because it was blurry you know and my baby wasn't sitting in the center or the camera wasn't positioned well this whole vibe oh my god i am deeply sorry about this anyways this is the last hair that i'm braiding finally we have come to the end of braiding this hair but hold up we still have a few more things to do so don't go nowhere because you wouldn't want to miss that part <music> So this is me putting beads on the hair. First of all, I braid out. Like I told you guys earlier, I wasn't braiding out at the time that I was braiding the hair from scratch. Like I braid to a point and stop. So now I braid out, then put my beads like this. If you had the um that object they use in putting beads on hair i don't know what it's called if you have it better for you for me i don't have that so what i'm doing is just twist the end of the braided hair then put my bead i'm using two beads on each of the hair after putting the beads i go ahead and tie i measure with other ones to make sure that they're equal and then i tie i'm using the tying method i am not burning out the end or even using rubber band i am just tying that is the reason i made my brazilian wool long as long as it was just to make sure that i can easily tie at the end but if you can you can as well use a rubber band or bone but you really have to be careful when it comes to burning the end but i advise you use a rubber band instead we are done after several hours after over six hours we finally came to an end with this hairstyle this hair took so much time for obvious reason her hair is very short and all that kind of stuff and she slept in between so it really took a lot a lot a lot of time but here we are the hair is done and see how my baby is smiling see how cute this hair looks on her see how cute my baby is looking we are ready for school school here we come <laughs> so you guys tell me what you think in the comment section put your comments below if you have any question that you need clarification ask away in the comment section i'll be answering you all and please applaud my baby girl in the comment section for her patience for her calmness and everything i mean i couldn't have asked for a better hair model she did the job and even added jara to it okay <laughs> so we've come to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do that right away and i want to use this opportunity to welcome you all that have joined this channel most especially those of you that came for hairstyle tutorial for kiddies hairstyle tutorial you are in the right place please sit tight because i'll be bringing more juicy hairstyles to this channel trust me sit tight subscribe to the channel thumbs up to the video if you haven't share this video if you can and see you in my next one bye bye